What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zalana Landscape. Today, I'm gonna learn how to do some irrigation. This is my first time ever doing irrigation. I've never done a repair, I've never done an install, I've never done anything. And one of my customers approached me about installing a system and I told them that I really wanted the opportunity and that I would find somebody that would kind of walk me through it, somebody that had experience, somebody that could coach me, but I wanted to be on the project and I didn't want to let it slip through. She was perfectly cool with that. She said as long as I found somebody that had experience and that knew what they were doing, she was perfectly fine with me learning on her property. So I reached out, spent a little time, and I found somebody who is gonna walk me through it. Now this guy has never done a full install either. He bought out an irrigation maintenance company about three years ago, so he's done a lot of maintenance, he's done a lot of repairs, he's done quite a few additions, but he has never done a full install either. So we're gonna walk through this kind of together. Um, like I said, he does have experience, I have none. So we're gonna kind of figure it out as we go. The supplier hooked us up and kind of set us up with the map or helped us put together the map or help Jake put together the map, I should say. I really didn't have too much to do with that. Um, but they got everything put together to make sure that we're right, to make sure that everything is good. We got plenty of water going to the right areas. So we should be all set. We're gonna head over there now, check this out, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me over the next few days until we get this one wrapped up. So we're gonna learn together. If you got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'm gonna try to post these videos the day we shoot them so you guys can help us as we go. And if there's anything we're missing or if there's anything that we can do to make our lives a little bit easier please leave it in the comments and I will put it to use the next day so without further ado let's get on over there and start our irrigation project jump out here we'll take a walk around i'll show you guys what we got going on and then we're gonna jump on it all right guys so we're here on site we got a lot of stuff laid out i think we're ready to start digging and i'll show you what we got going on
All right, guys, so I'm gonna bring you up to speed real quick on exactly what we're doing. Um, we're digging these holes for the boxes. Uh, we went about two feet deep, and I think it's a two by three is the hole. Uh, that's what we're doing. And we've got that board there. We smashed a couple of uh, two by fours, or we sandwiched the board with two two by fours, and then we got a rope around it. And our plan is to uh, pull this thing with the machine and get it out to the road so we don't have anything sitting on the lawn and we don't kill anything. And we tried to save the sods so when we're all done. We can patch that back up. If it looks like crap, I'll probably go grab a little bit of sod, but we're trying to make it uh, so when we're out of here, you can't even tell we were here. But like I said, this is a trial uh, for both of us on a full install, so bear with us. And uh, again, leave some comments if you see anything we're doing wrong. So, um, we're Giving it our best shot. This premier is a uh, nice one. It's a very handy so far. We got our second hole dug. And for this board to go out on the road. So instead of having a pile of dirt sit here and then have a dead spot whenever we're all finished, we kept all the good sod on that board. Uh, we're not going to need much dirt because we're going to put a lot of rock in here in case we got to do any repairs down the road. But uh, that sod is, is going to be good to go. We'll keep it somewhat wet and we'll put it back here in a couple days whenever we're all finished. So, like I said, instead of uh, instead of leaving a mess right there, now all we have is a hole. We'll cone that or we'll uh, we'll do something to mark it while we're gone or while it's open for a couple days but whenever we're done you shouldn't even know we were here again guys this is jake he's the owner of right field lawn care and irrigation uh, he got his name his last name is not right field but he played uh, college baseball he played semi-pro baseball and he played right field so that's where he got his name r-i-g-h-t so we've got our four holes dug out for our boxes and we brought some of uh, the supplies here and this is a lot of stuff this is just two of the boxes all these bags have something different in it this is two of the boxes there's like eight Big boys. 500 feet of wire. And we have 1,500 feet of pipe for the poly pipe. And then we've got our one and a half, or one and a quarter, I'm sorry, one and a quarter inch main. So a lot of materials here. I would definitely say uh, if you're looking to get an irrigation system, don't hire someone that uh, doesn't know what they're doing. I guess I don't know what I'm doing, kind of, but Jake does. So we're in good hands and like I said I wanted to learn so here we are and a lot of flags they're literally everywhere Tons of yeah and there's a hole right there about half of the width of a mower stripe it's a little bit bigger than that it goes into that other stripe a little bit but no pile of dirt no mess from the road you can't even really tell so keeping it clean we dumped a lot of the dirt in the woods. We're not going to need it. We're going to be putting rock in there in case we have to do repairs down the road. But we definitely kept a decent amount of dirt. And this has all pretty much got sod on it. And then we have another pile in the back that we can get from if we need some. But uh, we did dump a lot of it. But we've got two of those boards pretty much. We have this one right here. And then we've got one around, around the side over there. So uh, I've got two of those. We just put a little string on the front. pulled that with his machine and we just put it on the street so it doesn't kill the grass and like I said there's the hole and from over here you can't even really tell there's a hole so we are not making a mess of these people's yard and it's gonna look really good whenever we're all finished
way of going up. I feel like this is way lower than up by the house. Yeah, it's moving quick too. It goes right in there. Now, since this is moving, should I go up there and start listening and try to... Well, we know that that was... Or how many feet is that? Because this is nothing like 10. Yeah. guys end of day one here you can hear the Duramax rumbling in the background so that means it is about time for me to go home uh, we didn't get quite as much done today as we would have hoped I think uh, you know just figuring everything out took us a little bit of time but it is what it is and uh, we're ready to go tomorrow we got the main power pulled for our pump and we've got all of our uh, hubs I don't know exactly what you call them but where everything's gonna meet up we got all those holes dug so pretty much we have our destinations now we just gotta run everything, and with that machine, back over there, wherever it's at, somewhere back there, uh, makes things pretty easy. So tomorrow, we should be rocking and rolling. Stay tuned, there's gonna be two more of these videos, hopefully two, maybe three, depending on how many days this take. But I'm gonna try to document each day and kinda show you guys exactly what we got going on. So thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram if you're not already. Check us out on Facebook as well. And of course, if you're not subscribed here on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I'll see you in the next one.